Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and in this video I want to show you how to remove the top navigation for the Mistyle theme. We're going to do it using a child, uh, child theme. As you can see here I have Mistyle Child theme installed and specifically what I'm talking about is removing this navigation and we're going to replace it with a widget section, a top right widget section where you can put whatever you want there. Um, so to do that it's a four step process and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the WordPress admin and make sure you have a child theme installed. If you don't have a, uh, if you don't have one, go to uploadwp.com, subscribe to the newsletter, and you'll get a bunch of WooCommerce uh, theme-specific child themes that you can use. All right, so <clears throat> let's go to Appearance, and then we're going to click on Editor. And again, this is a four-step process. First step of the process, you'll see here that we have uh, the Mistyle Child Theme active and we're on style.css so what we're going to do is we're going to paste uh, the following in style.css. I'm going to go ahead and copy it uh, from notepad into here you can see I put it right in between the right in between here and here alright so that's step one you'll be able to get this CSS out on uploadwp.com if you click the link above this video uh, so I'm going to go ahead and update the file alright now that step one is complete we've updated the style sheet next thing we want to do is click on functions.php theme functions and we're going to paste the following right here I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it in alright so that's going to tell it to remove this alright so go ahead and update that file alright so functions.php for our child theme has been updated all right, now for step three, what we need to do is we need to add a header.php file uh, over here. So to do that, I'm going to open Notepad++, which again, you can download free if you just Google search for Notepad++. And I'm going to paste in the following. All right, so I'm going to paste that in. That's the header.php file. And here's the important part. We need to save it as exactly that header.php. Uh, so all lowercase all right header.php and go ahead and save that now go ahead and open up FileZilla or whatever FTP client you like to use and connect to your server and you can see there's the header.php file that I just created I'm gonna go find the site that I'm working on there it is and I'm gonna go to WP content I'm gonna go to themes I'm going to find my Mistyle Child theme, which is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this header.php and drag and drop it right here. All right, so there's the header.php. If we go back into the WordPress admin, and again, we're in Appearance and Editor. And if I refresh the page, uh, header.php will show up over here. So there's our header.php file that we just added. All right, so the last step is to do the following. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to Notepad++ and let's just create a new file here and I'm going to add a file called sidebar-init.php alright so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this from Notepad and paste it in Notepad++ save it as exactly that so file save as and again this is called sidebar dash I-N-I-T dot PHP all lowercase alright just like that and save that file let's go back to our FTP client and let's reconnect there it is on our computer right here so let's find the site that we're working on and let's go to WP content themes mistyle child now what we need to do is we need to create a new directory within the child theme called uh, includes so I'm just going to go ahead and right click and say create directory and I'm going to call it includes alright so we're creating this includes directory there it is so I'm going to take this sidebar dash init.php I'm going to drag and drop it into that includes folder if I open that up see it's in there okay so now that we've done that if I go back into the admin and refresh it you'll see includes will show up over here so there's the 
side uh, or I mean there's the sidebar dash int that we just created it's in the includes folder directory that we added to the child theme so that's the four step process um, now if we go out to the website and refresh the page this will go away you can see that the navigation has gone away and you can see that it's been replaced with a widget section uh, which I'll show you if we go into uh, appearance and widgets you'll see that there's now a top right widget section that we created right here and I just put a text box in there and just wrote text or test so this is the top right and obviously you can put any widgets you want in there and customize uh, this part of your Mistyle theme there it is alright so that's how you remove the main navigation the top navigation and replace it with a widget section to get the CSS and the PHP files that we used in this tutorial go out to uploadwp.com and if you have any questions feel free to leave them as comments on any of our tutorials thanks for taking time to watch this one again my name is Adam and we'll see you in the next video